Hey guys, um, so it's Melissa and um, before I actually start the video, again it's dark in here, <laughs> it's getting dark in here, so take off all your clothes, or your pants, whatever you prefer, anyway, so I wanted to come on a video. But first and foremost, I wanted to tell you guys that purple tongue. Um, my grandmother passed away this morning, and um, she was called to her new home. Whatever that is. Um, I'm not a real big spiritual person only because I've never really experienced, you know, spiritual stuff. So, needless to say, um, my grandma passed away this morning and um, she's just gone. So, rest in peace, Grandma. I love you. Thinking about you. I miss you already. So, now I have both of my grandmas up there. And I hope that they're hanging out and playing bingo together. And, um, just having a good time. So, with all the sadness going on, I wanted to talk about something a little bit more funny, or true. How about how to stay alive in a horror movie, or what's up with things that happen in horror movies? Like, come on. Let's be real, guys. Um, so, you're watching a horror movie. I almost said a hoary. <laughs> so you're watching a horror movie. And what happens? What's normally the first and foremost thing that happens? Take a guess. If there's a group of people, they separate. Which is problem number one. Why are you separating? Stay together. You're doing a horror movie. Number two. Why is it always that a hot girl is the first person to get killed? Really? Can't you switch it up a little bit and like make it like a guy or make it more than one person? Really, why is it always just one female, hot, one hot female girl that gets killed. I mean, horror movies these days, you almost can guess what's gonna happen, and for the most part, you're fucking right. Um, it does, it's not hard to guess what's gonna happen, and um, it takes the fun out of them. I was never really a big horror movie person um, for a lot of reasons, but let's be real, I mean, horror movies are just not the same, I mean, I mean, they are the same, they're too much of the same, so, okay, what's another thing that always happens in a horror movie, it's like, don't go in your closet, because where's the first time we'll place someone hides in the fucking closet? You're gonna die. You're fucking gonna die. You know, and then it's like, why also in horror films do when they're walking around the house or the park or the woods to make it all creepy, why is it when they're like, hello? Is anybody there? It's like, they're gonna be like, 
Hey, bitch, make me a sandwich. I mean, why are you like, why are you asking if you're there? It's not like they're going to pop out and be like, boo, here I am, bitch. Da, da, da. You know, if you really think about it. Also, I was thinking about every time in a horror movie they hear a noise, what do they do? They get up and they go check it out. Fucking go back to sleep, bitch. Call the cops. But no. Instead, they think, oh, I hear a noise, so I'm going to go check it out to be brave. Ding. I mean, no, don't do that. You're going to die. It's like, they hear this. They hear like a noise, and right away they're like, oh, I should go check what that is. You still see me. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. It happens all the time. Why? I don't know. But really, I mean, they're so, they're just predictable now. It's like you know exactly what is going to happen. Switch it up. Let's see. What else happens? Um, like, you just can always predict what's going to happen. Like, like the, the killer comes into your room, and where do you hide? Where do they hide? Under the bed, in the closet, or under their sheets. Because, you know, nothing says that that monster or robber or killer murder or whatever they're not going to be like oh yeah she's laying under the covers we're just going to let her be I mean come on they're going to fucking flip open the covers and they're going to do do you're done I mean let's let's face it um another one that always happens in horror films is um, it's like they'll, they'll be knowing something's going on and okay you go that way I'm gonna go that way you go that way and then we'll all meet back up together in 20 minutes okay 20 minutes comes and four or, you, f four or five of you are dead one girl's living and she's barely walking and that's the end of the movie. It's like, and done. No more. Or, you know, it's like, don't ever bring flashlights. No, because, I mean, we're just in the fucking dark woods. Don't bring a flashlight. That's overrated. <laughs> or, it's like, when they're in, like, a, a dark cabin, and they're stuck there with some creepy monster dude, and, you know they're getting ready to go to sleep and they hear a noise and then like the door flies open and they're just like hmm I wonder what that was so they look out the door like this and they're looking both ways or they step out of the door they're halfway outside the door's still open why the monster or creature or murderer killer whatever sneaks through and goes into your house and then they close the door and they're like, oh, it was nothing. Bitch, he is in your house. Fucking duh. I mean, you just let him in with your bare hands. Because you heard something outside. So you opened the door and you said, hello, is anybody there? And, well, while you were saying that, bitch, they went around and went inside your house. Ding. I mean, come on. What? Come on. So, the moral of the story is horror films are all the same. You can just predict them. I mean, nothing is different in them. They're all the same. You know where you're going to hide. You know where they're going to hide. 
you know everyone's going to split up. You know the first person that's going to die is going to be some hot white girl. And usually one of the killers happens to be the friend, one of the friends. I just, I just guessed all that. Ding! Um, yes, I just grace-faced. Uh, so anyway, leave me, um, in the comments some of the things that you notice that they do in horror films. Um, what is it in horror films that they do that you notice that every film, every horror film does that? So, leave me some in the comments below. I would love to... I would love to hear um, your suggestions and, you know, have a little conversation about it. You know, talk a little about horror films, even though I'm not real big into them, but I would like to know your opinions and your input on what you think about horror films, you know? It's like survival of getting through the horror. The horror. <laughs> That's what she said. The horror films. I mean, I really don't watch them much, but when I do, I'm like, yep, she's going to die first. Oh, she's next. He's next. It's like I almost can just predict it because they don't make it questionable at all. So that's it. I love you guys. Peace and love. Be cool. Be kind. Don't judge. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to one another. Um, I don't know why I'm patting my arm. But, yeah. So, have a good Wednesday. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah. Um, with my first time video that I'm going to do for you guys. You're going to love it. You're going to love my first time. Um, my grandmother's wake is tomorrow and Friday and then the, the mass is on Saturday. I got my shirt too. I actually just bought it today. I'll show you really quick. Right there. There it is. It's black and white. Um, it's actually an Ellen shirt. What? Yes, it is. Um, I got it at JCP. And um, Ellen was wearing the same shirt. And they had a big poster with her wearing that shirt. So... I mean, she's just taken all over JCP now, which is amazing. It's like my boxers. They're a little different than what I usually wear. Okay, guys. So, I love you guys. Be cool, be kind, don't judge. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Rest in peace, Graham.